Lion King's getting remade. It is. They remade it. It's, in, <laughs> it's live action, but it's not really live action. It's we know. Anyway, the Lion King. Yeah. We're back to talk about it because in this ongoing series called. Mason hasn't seen any Disney classic films from the 90s or even before or after. So we're doing each of them individually before the live action remake comes out. Mm. That's what this is called. <laughs> Notoriously, Mason hates Disney films, the ones that he has seen. I don't. I don't. Is that true? Didn't hate Aladdin, hated Dumbo. Hated Dumbo. Yeah. So we're up to speed. We're up to speed. And hey, if you could leave a like on this video, we would genuinely appreciate it. It helps this channel. It helps us. It, it involves zero money from you. Like, there's no financial gain or loss. You could be doing something else and earning sweet Bitcoin, maybe? Ah, oh, shit, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so this, The Lion King, it's the highest grossing film of 1994, the world over. Beloved by all. Artists created over a million drawings to bring it to life. It's Gregory Peck's favourite animated film and the first Disney movie to include a fart. That's true, that's a true fact. Huh. Will you fly in the face of all these things of The Lion King? Is it the greatest movie ever told in story? No, it sucks. What the fuck are you talking what about? What do you think? What do you think of this? It's movie? incredible. Is it? It's an incredible film. I'm incredulous that you think it's incredible. Did you rewatch it? Because I've just got, I've, I've watched it like five times okay, this but, year. Okay, but when did you watch it most recently? Probably like a week ago. Okay, well I've watched it more recently than you, <laughs> and so I claim authority on this, and I say I didn't care for it. What about it's this? It's schmaltzy. <laughs> It's not funny. I hated the voice acting. I hated both versions of Simba. I hated young Simba and Matthew Broderick Simba. Okay, that's He's profoundly thing. unlikable, that's I think. That's one thing I could agree on you with. I don't think Matthew Broderick is a good adult representation of Simba. Okay, but what do you think of Simba the character? I mean, you know, he's... Because he's, he's annoying, and then he leaves, and you're like, good. And then he's back, and you're <laughs> Did like... Did you think he was going to leave and not return? I hoped, but I didn't believe, obviously. <laughs> uh, and then he's back, and they're like, yay, this wiener who left can finally lead us. Get somebody else. But that's not how it works in Lion King society. But that's the thing. The problem is it's Lion Society, but they're also intelligent, like, human beings. Yeah, they got you know? those traits. They're, they're making One of them's British, the bird. Get what? somebody else. Get Nala to do it. Well, that in the sequel, yes. that's what happens. Good. Simba's daughter takes over. Because Simba be sucks. Quint. It's called the Lion King 2 because Simba sucks. <laughs> Get someone else because Simba sucks. What do you think about that? Well, look, okay, here's one thing I do like about Simba. Yes. They modelled Simba's hair on John Bon Jovi, John Bon Jovi's hair at the time, not his 80s perm. Mm -hmm. Remember his sweet big mullet that he used to yeah, sport? Yeah, I do. If you, if you look at the film clip for Bon Jovi's Always, mm -hmm. that's what they're going for here. Mm. Surely you can at least pre appreciate the animation in this movie. It's Surely. fine. What are you talking about? It was absolutely ground. I know it's like a 25-year-old movie. Mm hmm but groundbreaking at the time. Look, I, look, I'll, I'll, I'll concede some sequences are pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. like, like maybe like the stampede looks pretty good. Well, the stampede is that thing we were talking about when we talked about Aladdin. It's a combination of CGI and hand-drawn animation. Like that mm. took three years to like create this new kind of technology to get like a hundred wildebeest to run on screen at one time and make them look like they're cell shaded or whatever. Now you can, you know, yeah, there's a Snapchat be, filter yeah, for it. Fine. You no, just look, 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 you know? It's it's so slow, this movie. Really? It only goes for 90 minutes, but it's so slow. It, it moves so slow. at a clip. Does it? What are you talking about? You know about? what? The first four and a half minutes goes forever. <laughs> <laughs> I think it... The might... opening shot where they, the, they come think, in... Yeah, where the, where the kid's born. I think it just... It, it... Well, I mean, you've seen that, though, right? So that's why is it, is it boring to you? No, I've never seen it for all the way through, or four and a half. That's I... all they released as the trailer. I mean, they did it recently, but uh, it, at the time, uh -huh. in the early 90s, that's what they released, having only done like a third of the film. And then they were like, oh, shit, everybody loves this. Wow. And how are we going to live up to it? And well, then... you would have seen me in a movie theater in 1993 <laughs> going, oh, God, <laughs> when will it end? <laughs> Uh, this was also famously like Disney's B team because the A team was doing Pocahontas. The A team were fleeing the government for, for a crime they didn't commit. That's what they were doing. Is that doing. why Pocahontas turned out the way it did? Yes. <laughs> what about the father son stuff when, when Mufasa is killed? Did you feel anything? I'm looking inside. He's trying to field. wake up his dad. He's like, come on, dad, get up. You've been murdered. But I need you. You said you'd always, buddy, hang, we'd hang out together. No, see, it was kind. Of, it kind of felt kind of forced and schmaltzy to me. Oh my god, Mason! Yeah. What are you even saying? Yeah, that's right. Uh, but is it, is he right? And um, is it I that is crazy? Yeah. Is it me? Is it billions of people who enjoy this movie? Maybe it is. <laughs> yeah. What about when Mufasa returns? Yes. To give Simba the talking to. He's in oh, the in clouds. the clouds. He rolls in. Yeah. Gives him a talking to. He's like, listen, you need to 
be more responsible and be less like Ferris Bueller and more like your character. The other kid, Cameron? Yeah. You should need to be more like Cameron. <laughs> Put the Ferrari back. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. None of that. It was all right. Anything. But also, like, what do you, you you need magic? You need a magic visitation from your dead dad to get your ass in a gear? Yeah. That's the mark of a bad leader. Because <laughs> statistically speaking, that wasn't going to happen, was it? He was gaslit into leaving by Scar. Yeah. He thought that he'd murdered his father or contributed mm-hmm. to it. He yeah. didn't leave because he was like, oh, I suck. Yeah. And he left. Uh-huh. Actually, in an early version of the story, he was going to be like, first of all, it was like baboons versus lions. That was like the original idea. Oh, not hyenas versus yeah. lions. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. And Scar was a baboon and Rafiki was a cheetah or whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh-huh. But And Simba was just like a slovenly idiot who has yeah. to like, you know, rally, yeah. rally and get abs. Yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, I get that, but also that plot line just sort of fizzled at the end because mm. they're like, why did you leave all those years ago? And he's like, because I killed my father. And then Scar's like, actually, I killed your father. And then Simba's like, actually, Scar killed my father. And Scar's like, yeah, I did done do it, actually. And then they're like, all right, well, I guess Simba's the king Let's again. all fight. Yeah. But voice actors in general. we got Jeremy Irons we doing Scar. Jeremy Irons, yeah. He has a great song about being a Nazi. He <laughs> sure does. Surely you appreciate yeah. it. What's weird about that scene, though, is that there's, there's a lot of explosions and lava. Yeah. And then we never come back to the explosions and lava cave. I think it's more like Simba. Symbolism and, and things like this. symbolism. Symbolism, very good. Mm. I remember watching this film with my grandpa yes. on VHS after it came out, mm-hmm. and he saw the Nazi stuff, and he's like, "Ha!" And I think it's because he killed a lot of Nazis in real life, <laughs> right. like a lot. Uh-huh. Like I don't know how many. <laughs> Anyway, that's not really relevant, is it? What? Are, okay, the voice of Mufasa, uh, James Earl Jones is returning. That's he's right. The only returning uh, voice actor from this movie. Was Broderick busy? No, but he's still not coming back. They got <laughs> okay, Donald right. Glover. All right. who, 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 who would you prefer? I yeah. mean, realistically. Yeah, Donald Glover. Yeah, and they didn't get also Jonathan Taylor Thomas, who voiced Kid Simba. He's also not coming back. Is he busy? Not, not because he's. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. He's got that bloody Tim Allen money. He's got that, exactly. I'm with you on the Matthew Broderick thing mm-hmm. because Mufasa has this deep baritone voice and he's this commanding leader and he's mm, fair and, yeah. and heroic and, yeah. and strong and he's got great hair. Maybe not Bon Jovi hair. Maybe something a bit early. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then by comparison, even the voice of Simba is just like, Bleh, this? Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. He's kind of like a... I don't know, maybe he'll grow into that. You know what I mean? Yeah. He doesn't. Matthew Broderick does return for the Lion King 2 Simba's Pride, actually. Surely you, you must recognise, like, the stylist the stylistic choices for the animation. You know, I just can't wait to be king. They changed, like, the backgrounds to a whole lot of African patterns. They got real lions in studios to, like, walk about so they could, like, mimic their movements. And did they anybody took, get more? They took a trip to Africa. Didn't to... they, did, they did that with Dumbo as well. Yeah. Strike two. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I kind of like that's That's pretty fun. I appreciate that. What do you think of the songs? The songs are great. Compared to What about compared to Aladdin? Better. I think there's... Well, no, maybe not better, but I think there's more... Oh, good I've songs. I've introduced in, some doubt there's into more, James's no, mind. There's more. There's more iconic songs in this than there is in Aladdin. I don't think there and is. I really like Aladdin because I think every song in this mm-hmm. is an absolute banger, <laughs> and, for di- and for different reasons. Oh yes. Like you got your opening. Uh, Lebo M is like an African composer. They got in. They got Hans Zimmer to do the instrumental. Elton John and Tim Rice did the did the lyricy, uh, musicy ones together. Like the Can <laughs> You Feel the Love Tonight and so. I don't like life, Can You Feel the Love Tonight. It was actually taken out. And Nathan Lane sung it, like the Timon and Pumbaa sung it together. Now, and John saw it and he's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and it's like, get rid of this. Two male animals <laughs> singing together? I won't have it. <laughs> but even then, like that song, I think I've won like numerous awards and topped the charts and everything like that. That's it's all that, about awards, is it? No, it's not all about awards. Because right? again, I don't think it's the best song, but I don't think you can just go, nah, no good. I just don't think... Watch me. You ready? (laughs) Nah, no good. I don't know what's happened here. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you can watch this and just feel nothing and just dismiss it entirely. I just think it's schmaltzy. It's sincere and I don't think the jokes land. Like Timon and Pumbaa, the Rowan Atkinson. What are we talking about? The hyenas, Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, the hyenas. Don't get me started on the hyenas. What? What's wrong with them? I hate them. As characters. (laughs) As characters and people. People ask this question and there is actually an answer, but you know Scar's name is Scar. What is that? Why is he? Why is he scar? Do you scar? think he? Well, he used to have a different name. Or... Apparently, Mufasa gave him the scar, so it's that's probably why. He... <laughs> I think they're brothers, right? They're brothers, yeah. No, think... some of the creators say that they're not brothers, that they're not related, but then other people say that they actually are. They grew up together. It's probably that thing, though. Yeah. What, what was his name prior to that? I can't remember. Let no me scar. Look it up just quickly. <laughs> what did you say? No scar. No scar. <laughs> Taka. There you go. Great. What a revelation. <laughs> 
Anyway, so you're saying this is not a good movie. I'm not saying it's not a good movie. I'm just saying... It sounds like that's what you're saying. I'm saying it was fine. Like, with Aladdin, I'm like, man... I should have seen this a lot earlier. This yeah. was this was a ton of fun. Hilarious, you this, said. This, The Lion King, was not a ton of fun to me. So what about you coming up like with the new one? Are you, would, is this, you're obviously less excited to see another version of this, right? Not necessarily. Might be better. Maybe it will be. Mm-hmm. I can't believe the way this went. This is unbelievable. <laughs> well, how did you think it was going to go? That you'd like it on some level, I guess. That they'd be, you'd be like, look, there's some things I didn't like, but I really like this particular aspect of it. I don't it. even really like the Timon and Pumbaa pairing. Mm. Like, I don't think they're. I don't think they're a great combination. No. No. Too sassy. Too sweet. What's going on there? Too grubby. <laughs> yes, that's it. It's the grubbiness. <laughs> <laughs> there should have been regular bath scenes. What I like about those guys as well, like they stand for nothing, right? Mm, the so they'll start. fall for anything. Exactly. Mm. And then when Simba's like, "Listen, I got to go back and 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 like and kill a kill a lion." Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're like, "Listen, we don't we don't really believe in anything or want to do anything, but we're you know we're going to stand with you on this." So even though they're flighty and grubby, they're still mm-hmm. like, "Hey, we're mates. Don't worry about it." Oh, they'll stand by their their it's friend. A good message. Okay. Yeah. Would you have stood by Simba, though? Yeah, probably probably could have got someone else to, <laughs> to lead the line. But that's not how it works in this lion society. Mm-hmm. There were too many hyenas. Yeah, they should have just, like, ripped his throat out when he, when he slept. They should have done Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Because they all sleep around him anyway, I assume. That's very true. Yeah. You know what Scar could have done? Yeah. Just killed him there and there. Like, years ago. Well, that was his plan. Oh, yeah. But he didn't want to do it himself because he's a coward. Just like people who don't like this movie. <laughs> I think I'm the bravest one here, if I'm quite honest. What do people think of The Lion King, though? Is Mason right? Am I am I crazy? Is he crazy? Am I crazy? Who's mm. crazy? I don't know. We do videos here every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Uh, also, we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. Uh, we've got an upcoming episode on The New Lion King. Will Mason be turned around on this whole franchise? It remains to be Wouldn't sane. that be a twist? Yeah. If I liked the bad live action remake of something. If it's bad. We just don't know. We don't know point. yet. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies on Twitter. Oh, I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. Yeah, Let me know what yeah, you think about The Lion King and what you think about how I think of The Lion King. At me. I want to see this as well. Yes, I please see do. see which way this goes. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks, guys. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But really that unbelievable? Nah, Based no. on what you know not about know, me. Not knowing your terrible personality, no. See, then there you go. Perfect. <laughs>